Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in a city, and now I live in the Midwest on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Hey y'all, I wanted to do a quick show tonight because I have a friend coming over tomorrow for coffee, and I wanted to make this wonderful, wonderful snack for when she comes. <laughs> And y'all, Vacation Bible School, VBS as we call it, happened last week. It was phenomenal. It was so great. God showed himself powerful. They listened so well. They were all so dear. They were all so smart. Even though I'm getting more sleep this week, I kind of miss those kids. <laughs> and of course, my co-teacher, Tina, is amazing and she's encouraging and I love spending time with her. We were a team two years ago and this year we teamed up again and we kind of sort of said that maybe we should just be a permanent team. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they'll do that, but we sure work well together and we sure have fun together. Also, it was a beach theme and she can do anything creative. She's a nurse, but she can do anything creative and she actually monogrammed these beach towels for each one of our children in our class. And then they got to take them home as a special memento and to remember their time at VBS. And we always tell them, listen, if you have any questions past this week about God or salvation or Jesus, come back and ask us. We will always try to find out what the answer is. Anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna make the same dip that I made last week for VBS for the kitchen workers. And I don't have kids at home, so I have time to bake a lot. I have time to cook. If you have kids at home and you're trying to get them to VBS, you do not have time to make food for the kitchen, but I have time and I love doing it, y'all know. And it is so yummy and so easy. There are only six ingredients and it is no bake. So I thought I'll just do a show really quickly and then I'll have my dip and y'all will have a great recipe. Tonight we're gonna make confetti dip. Let me show you what you'll need. Cheddar cheese almonds, bacon bits, mayonnaise, green onion, and garlic. Are y'all ready to make confetti dip? <laughs> it's gonna be so easy and fast and so much fun and it's so good. But the gals at VBS told me they loved it so, and they're great taste testers. You gotta trust them. <laughs> We're gonna start off with our Hudson and Henny bowl. I miss my precious nephews. I got to have my precious great nephews, Macy's boys, Andrew and Graham here the past week and they are so much fun. And it reminded me when Hudson and Henny were little and um, boys have a lot of energy, but so do I, so we're buddies. <laughs> Y'all, six ingredients, no bake, one bowl, easy cheesy. We're gonna start off with three cups of cheddar cheese. And y'all, are these not the most precious cups? When we were at Lillian's and Burger's house last week, Lillian gave me these little measuring cups and it's a little cracked egg. Anyway, I love them so much. So, three cups of shredded cheddar. Two, last one. Then y'all, you just use a package of bacon pieces, not bits pieces and I tore the plastic thing off of this and it said all the information. I think I got it at our grocery store beside the mayonnaise. I think that's where they sell these. But you can get bacon bits or bacon pieces and I love bacon pieces. So they're thicker and on this plastic before I ripped it off, it said it equals six pieces of sliced bacon. So you get one of these containers. Oh, look at that goodness. I'm gonna save this for my little rainy roux. We have a kitchen collection of uh, toys. This will be great. <laughs> Whoops. Y'all make sure you don't dump this in there as well. <laughs> Wouldn't be very good. We're gonna throw it this way. Then you just add a cup of slivered almonds. Then you just add a bunch of green onions and I'm gonna quickly chop these and I'll be right back. Okay, these are chopped and they go getting fragrant in here. Now you're just gonna put a little bit of garlic powder in there. You don't need much. About a half a teaspoon. The last ingredient is mayonnaise, yum. So, two cups of mayonnaise. Okay, you can do two or three cups of mayonnaise. I'm gonna put two in and then I'm gonna stir it a little bit and then I'm gonna add another cup if I think I need to. It's all about consistency and your preference for consistency. <laughs> There's a sermon in there somewhere about consistency. <laughs> okay, here we go, we're gonna stir this. This smells so good, y'all. Oh, your family will love you making it because the kitchen smells so good. Oh. All right, y'all, I'm definitely adding another cup of mayonnaise. Another cup. Okay, do y'all see why this is called confetti dip? Because it looks like confetti, it's happy. 
and we already have a happy dip. So I had to come up with something else. Do y'all see how it kind of has the feel of a cheese ball? You could shape it into something if you'd love. I'm just gonna put mine in a bowl, but it'll kind of stick together. So you can do a cheese ball if you want to, or a log or a donut or a letter of someone's name. Be creative. One of the teachers at VBS asked me, she said, are these cloves of garlic? I said, no, those are almonds. She was like, that would have been a bold move. I said, I agree. I mean, I may try it sometime. I make no promises. Now to put it in a pretty bowl. Here it is. Y'all, thanks so much for cooking with me today and making confetti dip. I hope you continue to have a great week. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time.